Hey, how's it going? I'm Howie, the How to Ride Guy, and today we're going to go over the basics of riding DART, like maps, schedules, and fares. Riding the bus is easy once you've tried it, so let's go. This is what a route map looks like. Let's say you want to ride from your house here to work here. Once you find the closest route, use the route number or route color to find your schedule. The bus schedule is basically a grid, showing you when you can catch a bus at different time points along the route. Each line represents one of the buses on the route, and each column is a time point. Keep in mind that the schedule includes only the key time points along the route. There are several more bus stops between each time point, where you can catch the bus. Also, there are separate schedules for inbound and outbound trips, or the direction the bus is traveling, so make sure you're looking at the correct one. For this trip, you'll want the east, so locate the eastbound schedule. Now, let's say you're going to 9th and Grand, and you want to be there by 735, and this is the bus you want to catch, so let's see when you need to be at the bus stop that's nearest you. Hmm, it says 705, so I'd be there at around 7, 5 minutes early, just to be safe. Once you've found the closest stop, make sure you're on the side of the street heading in the direction you want to travel. Now, all you have to do is wait and watch for the bus. And remember to have your fare ready to go before you board the bus. Make sure the driver sees you as the bus arrives. And check the destination sign on the bus, just to make sure you have the correct bus. Route 3, heading downtown. Good morning. You can always pay in cash with exact change, or with tokens, or with weekly or monthly passes that can save you money. Tokens and passes are sold at select grocery stores. DART also offers discounted passes for seniors and people with disabilities. Some employers participate in DART's unlimited access program, which makes it free to ride. All you do is show your employee ID. Oh, and one last thing. If you pay with cash or a token and you need to take more than one bus to complete your trip, remember to ask the bus driver for a transfer slip. It's free, so you don't have to pay twice for a single trip. There you go. Thanks. It's as simple as that. I usually find a seat toward the back of the bus so that seniors or people with disabilities can have the seats up front because all DART buses are handicap accessible. And you'll see there's no eating or drinking allowed on the buses so they stay nice and clean. So I'll save my snacks for later. Now just sit back and relax. You don't have to fight the traffic or bad weather and you save a bundle and it's environmentally friendly. Plus, you've got time to read, catch up on email, text a friend, put in your earbuds, or just close your eyes for a few minutes. Remember to always be courteous to fellow riders and don't talk too loudly or blast your music. So I hope you try riding the bus. If you have any questions, just ask your friendly driver or call DART and they'll be happy to help you out. Oh, and when you want to get off the bus, just pull this cord here a little ways ahead of your stop. That tells the operator you want off at the next bus stop. Have a great day, and please watch your step. See you on the bus.